I still get so many questions around calories, calories in, calories out. So I thought I'd make a quick video on energy balance. There's so many videos out there already about calories, but it seems to me I must just be following the right people because there's so many people that come to me and still don't understand anything. So I thought I'm going to make this video myself. Come onto my page. You can understand it there. So energy balance is the amount of energy that you consume via food and drink in the day versus the energy out. So the amount of calories your body requires each day to do its normal bodily functions plus account for any activity done in that day. Things like digestion, breathing, the regeneration of skin cells, hair cells, all these bodily functions all require energy, which in this case is calories. If you were to sit in bed and do absolutely nothing all day, your body would still be burning calories. This is your basal metabolic rate. So we have your basal metabolic rate and then any activity done in that day. So this will be classed as your energy output. If we talk about a little bit more about energy output, so a lot of people will probably just see that as going to the gym. You know, you're burning calories. My watch says I've burnt 700 calories at the gym so I can eat an extra 700 calories. Number one, you probably haven't burnt 700 calories. You've probably burnt about 200, 250, 300 max, probably, depending on what you're doing. And two, being in the gym, it will only be roughly an hour a day. That's like 4% of your day. There's still that 96% other than that that you've not accounted for. You cannot just rely on going to the gym to get your results, whether that's to gain weight, grow your bum, or whether to lose weight. You cannot just go to the gym and expect miracles. You need to be doing everything in your power outside of the gym to make sure that you are going to hit your goals. The amount of calories that your body requires to do all of these activities, so its own bodily functions plus activities in the day, is called your maintenance calories. Your maintenance calories are not a set number. They do change each day because obviously you're doing different activity each day. For example, I went for a run yesterday and I went to the gym. So let's say I burn 1,000 calories extra on top of what I would normally be doing. Today, I'm not going to the gym and I'm not going for a run. So if my maintenance was the same number as yesterday, I'm doing way less activity today. So that must change. My maintenance calories yesterday would have been a lot higher because I probably burnt a lot more calories whilst I was doing activities than today when I'm not actually planning on doing any activities. So you can't necessarily say that your maintenance calories is the exact same each day. So we now know what the maintenance calories are and we know how we got to maintenance calories. So if you consume less calories than your body requires each day, this would be a calorie deficit. So this is what you would want to be in if you are planning to lose weight or wanting to lose weight. If you overconsume and eat too many calories, more calories than your body requires for its functions on that day, that would be classed as a surplus. So that would be somebody who wants to gain weight would be in a calorie surplus. I like to think of calories and calorie targets on more of a weekly basis rather than a daily basis. For example, you could go Monday to Friday in a 500 calorie uh, deficit, which would be 2,500 calorie deficit so far for that week. But then if on Saturday and Sunday you overconsume and you binge, that would then make up for the rest of the week. So you need to look at it as a weekly target rather than a daily target. If you do five days good, two days really bad, they might level out. For example, let's say you absolutely nail it Monday to Friday. Um, you're in a calorie deficit, 500 calorie deficit. So it comes to Friday evening and you're in a 2,500 calorie deficit so far that week. However, Friday night, it's someone's birthday. So you have to go out. You then sink a bottle of red, 600 calories, two shots of tequila, 150 calories. You're already at 750 extra. Don't forget about the double cheeseburger and chips and Coke that you made the taxi driver get you on the way home. An extra 950, if you didn't know. You're already at nearly 2,000 calories and it's only been Friday night. So all that work that you did in the week, yes, you smashed it, great. You've just ruined it on that Friday night. So that's only Friday night. Let's say Saturday, you do absolutely nothing because you KO'd. You get a Domino's, medium medium pizza, 1,000 calories, plus the garlic dip, 1,000 calories. You're soaring over your calories for that week. You'll then rock up to the gym on Monday thinking, oh, I only went out for a little one on Friday. Step on the scales with your trainer and you're some, for some reason you're confused as to why you've gained weight when you've nailed it for five days and one day you've had a little night out. 
it doesn't work like that, I'm sorry. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer about energy balance. If you want to lose weight, it is so important that you're in a calorie deficit. We're talking about weight specifically rather than just fat. If you want to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. It's as simple as that. If you want to grow, if you want to um, increase your weight, increase your mass, you need to be in a calorie surplus. It is as simple as that. There is no, unless you're on steroids, there is absolutely no other way of that happening.